Hello everyone, I am Akash Chandra Gupta and today we will learn how to calculate the moment of inertia of a thin uniform rod rotating about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its length. So let's go ahead. So this is the diagram. It's a thin uniform rod and the axis of rotation is AB. The rod is of length L. Let us just suppose an elementary portion dx, elementary length dx at a distance of x from the center. So we need to calculate the moment of inertia of the rod about the axis AB. Let the mass of the rod be m. Ma mass of the rod is m. As the rod is uniform, so mass per unit length is m by L. Mass per unit length will be m by L. The mass of the elementary part, that is the dx, mass of elementary length of length dx is equals to the mass per unit length into the length of the elementary portion. See, moment of inertia of the element, that is the elementary portion, is equals to mass into radius square. This is the formula for the moment calculating moment of inertia. So, what we got to do is m by l into dx into x square see the radius of the elementary portion that is the distance of the elementary portions from the axis of rotation is x so we just put the value of radius as x square mass will be m by l into dx and um, so we get here m by l x square dot dx that's coming to the next step now our next step is to obtain moment of inertia of the whole rod we have just calculated the elementary portions we got to calculate the whole rod so what we got to do is here we just integrate the elementary portions over a length of l by 2 sorry for a mistake here l by 2 and then so integrating it we get 2m by l into l cube by 24 24 will be cancelled by 2 we get 1 by 12 l will be cancelled by an l of l cube so we get here 1 by 12 ml square so the moment of inertia of a thin rod rotating about an axis perpendicular to its length is equals to i is equals to 1 by 12 ml square radius of gyration of the rod what will be the radius of gyration of the rod so radius of gyration the formula for radius of gyration is mk square so here if we put if we just put mk square is equals to 1 by 12 ml square m will get cancelled out and k square is equals to l square by 12 so k is equals to l by 2 root 3 this is the radius of gyration of the rod hope you understood it just repeat the video if you didn't you will get it understand anything you like to ask any questions ask in the comment box below subscribe to my channel I'm trying to improve my viewerships thank you for watching this video